everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. This video, we're going to be painting the Orc Fatty from Zombicide Green Horde by Simon Games. It's one of the last three sculpts we've got left to paint on the channel. I thought we'd finish them off, get on with it, that sort of thing. So here we go, let's paint this Fatty Fatty 2x4. We're going to start off with priming it with a colour primer by the Army Painter. This is Necrotic Flesh. I'm outside, giving the can a good shake, couple of minutes, get that paint pigment nice and mixed up. And then you're just going to apply light strokes side to side. Make sure you start spraying off of the model so any sort of clumps, bits of blur, splatter out away from the models. And then, yeah, just move move back a couple of strokes both sides, change the angles a little bit, get from above as well, about 30 centimetres, 20, 30 centimetres away, and you're going to get a nice thin light coating on this model. And then after that, I'm going to change the colour anyway. So I primed this a long time before I decided on colours. And I decided I wanted my orcs to be quite a lot darker, the fatties to be like darker skinned than the goblins that you saw, which I did use the necrotic flesh primer for. This one I'm going to be using the Army Painters Green Horde paint set again. And this is the orc skin that comes in that set. So I'm going to be using it to paint over the top of that necrotic flesh all of the bits of his skin that are showing through. So his arms, his belly, his feet on both sides, his knees, all of his skin, his face. His face is quite tricky to get to. He's got a little bit poking out sort of around his eyes, under under his helmet, that sort of thing. Then I'm going to use the red, which is the Abomination Gore from the Black Plague set. Just like in previous videos, I'm going to try and stick to using the Army Painter's specific paints for painting Green Hordes. So that's the Black Plague sort of core set. And then they released this smaller set, which is the Green Horde one. I've done an unboxing of both of those boxes on the channel if you want to check that out. And I, th I think it's a good place to start. If you don't have any paints and you've got this game, it's a really nice place to start. It's where I started. They're the kits that I bought and I first painted, 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 painted Black Plague. So after that, that was the Abomination Gore over his robe. And then I'm going to use the rough iron in the set to paint on all of the metallics, give that a nice, really, really dark metallic base coat. So he's got some spikes on his shoulder, which could arguably be a bit leather brownie as well. It looks to me like it's quite padded. So have examine the artwork yourselves, decide for yourself. But I've just gone for straight metal. Then he's got all these metal plates and a helmet on as well. I'm going to use wolf grey, which is a quite a blue actually. But once you add shade to this, it does darken down and becomes more grey. But this is for his sort of neckerchief. I don't really know what that is. It's like part of his robes. In the artwork, it looks a little bit blue to me. So I'm going with that as well. I'm just trying to stick to the artwork. And then I'm going to use Crush Skull out of the, the new set, the these, uh, Green Horde one. And this is for all of those wraps that he's got. So he's got one on each of his wrists, one on each of his ankles. And then he's got a collection of skulls on his on, on his person basically so he's got a few scattered around him also going to do those in the same color crushed skull it's very very fitting for this part I'm just switching down to my detail brush before that I was using regiment brush basically for everything detail brush is now out to do the skulls also his teeth so he's got quite a few uh large teeth and then a small teeth as well to fill in with this this color which will look very very nice once we've shaded it and brightened it back up in a moment just while we've got a minute, uh, if any of you would like to see any of these paintings sort of live, I am Twitch streaming now and again. I'm just sort of building up a following to begin with, just make sure it's sort of viable and worth doing. But these are what I'm painting on Twitch at the moment and the other sculpt which I'm doing too. So next I'm going to use Goblin Skin, which is a sort of light brown, it's yellowy brown, sort of very similar to Desert Yellow that I've used in the past. That's for all of his nails, his fingernails and his toenails. Pale Flesh, that's very similar to their previous toxic boils i think it's exactly the same detail brush for this just going to paint him in a tongue just make it look nice and realistic and then moving on from that we're going to be using uh, glistening blood so this isn't in the sets you do have to buy it separately you could use abomination gore for this bit or you could just skip it entirely but he's got a load a load of scratches on him they're really cut out into the model he's got yeah scratches on his back a bite mark on his shoulder various lines and cuts crosses all over him and I just thought I'm gonna I'm gonna make it look like dried blood so I'm putting this on before the shader I might highlight it up afterwards so it could be a step you'd like to miss out and just do the highlighting wait and see see how we get on so we're on to shading I'm going to use the new shader in the green horde set the horde shader and this is a quite dark green shader it's slightly different to the plague shader that feels like a brighter lighter green this one's very very dark 
and I'm just going to shade all of his skin. So just working this around into all the nooks and crannies, making the muscles really, really defined and start popping out. It's going to bring in a lot, a lot of detail adding this shade. And then for the rest of it, I'm just going to use deep shader. Now, if I was trying to do it with some extra shades, I, I have red, red and blue shaders from the army painter so if you wanted the cloak to be brighter more red like i could have used the jumpsuit shader if i wanted the blue i could use the the blue tone but you if you've only got this one you're going to do completely fine doing the rest of the model in deep shader it's just going to make it all look darker and to be honest i'd rather that blue did look darker i want it to look a gray dark blue the red 50 mm, 50 whether i'd like that to look brighter or not but that's how it looks after the shade has completely dried and i'm happy with that i think that's going to look great he looks dirty he's a zombie i can live with that i think that's completely fine i'm then going to bust out the orc skin so the green one again and just start bringing back in that base color bringing it back out on all of the raised parts of his muscles and this guy is big he's got a lot of muscles he's got a lot of fat there's a lot a lot of areas to highlight and you're going to start making that skin pop back out and adding detail back to it and then going to take orc skin and plague skin, plague skin's the same as the necrotic flesh that I primed it in, mixing that about 75 to 25. So I'm just lightening up that orc skin slightly, and then gonna go back down. These 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 highlightings are plenty watered down, so it's probably after I've made the paint colors, I'm mixing 50% water in, something like that. I'm adding very, very thin layers, building them up, making the muscles brighter and brighter towards the center. Uh, so this one, we're going back round and we're just, applying it to all of the same places but we're just bringing it in centralizing it just a little bit just leaving it and blending it with the previous uh, highlight and just making it look like it's getting lighter and lighter the closer it is to the light and then we're going to do another highlight we're going to go 50 50 with plague shade uh, plague skin and orc skin mixing them half and half again plenty of water and we're just moving right to the very center now and just catching all of the very edges of every every bit line of fat the edges of his fingers all of his knuckles that sort of thing and that's just going to make the very edges just pop out and make it look lifelike basically and then orc skins back out just going to touch up his nails because that got a lot of that green uh, horde shader in and just made them a bit duller but i was happy with the yellow so i just highlighted them back up on all the, the sort of tips of his fingernails and his toenails and the edges just make them look very realistic as well then crush skulls out and we're going to go over all of the bandages now this is quite slow and fiddly and there's a very very fine line for how much you want to water this down so you want it thin enough that you can work with it but you don't want it to run into all of the recesses so i was basically watering this down and then drying some off on my my paper towel before applying it to the model just making sure none of it seeps in between all the cracks didn't want it to work like a wash basically and undo all of that shading that i've previously done so to some extent, I think you could use this knee out of the, the paint pot, to be honest. You're kind of dry brushing on all the raised bits of the bandages. And if you did if you did try dry brushing it before you painted and highlighted the skin, you're probably going to be all right. I think it would dry brush quite well. It's a little bit fiddly to get in his ankles, though, so that might be tricky. But as long as you do it first, you'll be able to paint the skin back on around anywhere you catch accidentally. If somebody wants to give that a try, let me know in the comments if it works. And let everyone know in the comments if it works that'd be quite interesting to see i'm also going to be highlighting up his teeth and the skulls just catching all the raised parts and the edges lots of edge highlighting on his teeth and the skulls there abomination go back to the red just the same as everything else except this is mostly just edge highlighting there's loads and loads of folds and riffles i love saying riffles i don't think it's even a word but i think you guys know what i mean <laughs> all the raised bits of the folds just going to go along and paint all of those bright bright red again just make them look like they're standing out bringing a lot of detail back into that they're all the the model's chunky and the robe is very chunky they're all incredibly easy to hit just water down your paint again build up build it up maybe add one or two layers get it as bright as you'd like along the edges and then the same with the wolf gray obviously i'm having to use my detail brush here because that is fiddly it's fairly fairly thin lines there but it's just the same principle and it's very very quick that a couple of couple of lines all the way around and you're done highlighting that i'm going to use claymore blade that's the light bright silver in the set and i'm going to dry brush that across all the metals and just add a little bit of shine and pop to the very edges it'll naturally do it by dry brushing and then for the base just going to paint it dead black i think that came in the survivor kit but 
You all should have a black and a white paint and just paint the base black if you want to copy me or do anything you want with it if you want to be a little bit more interesting, painting like the game tiles, that sort of thing. And then like all my other monsters from the game, I'm just painting the rim of the base the same color as the skin. So that was just the, the orc skin around the base, just so it's a little bit easier to tell which model's which, I think. And then, as I mentioned before, I'm finally back putting back in that glistening blood. So I'm using my insane detail brush here and just making sure the blood's just going into those scratches and cuts. And any bits that's sitting on the surface, I can easily wipe off on my thumb. It's nice and runny so I can get rid of any mistakes and just leave the scratches in the deep recesses. Um, maybe skip out doing the base coat. I'm not sure it was entirely necessary on the blood. One hour, 17 minutes for this guy. I'm pretty happy with that. Obviously, there's 14 of them. The quicker, the better. I am doing, as I mentioned on Twitch, I'm doing some assembly line painting of this, trying to speed that up, just get them all done very, very fast. So if you're interested in seeing that, do subscribe, follow my Twitch. And hopefully you'll catch me doing some of that at, at some point. I'm not doing it without you guys. I'm just, I've not streamed in a while because I'm trying to build up the following as I mentioned. And here's just an example of the second sculpt that you get. I painted this on, on Twitch, so I was afraid I didn't record any of it, but you can see it's pretty much the same actually. I did a lot of the stuff exactly the same, mixed up the colors. There's no artwork that I could find for this. So I've just given him a jumpsuit orange robe and it's actually magic blue by Vallejo around his neckerchief there. It's just similar to the other model, but different enough. Also, his skin's quite darker. He's from a slightly different tribe of Fatty Fatty 2 by 4s and the blood's darker on him as well. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Catch you next week.